Welcome to Amplify Science Spotlight Series for Oklahoma on remote and hybrid learning resources. So whether you're in either situation that we find ourselves in, some of these resources I'm gonna share with you tonight are great for online students who have access to devices with some level of technology at home, or whether they're offline and you need print-based solutions to help them learn as well. A lot of these resources are great to continue learning even after this pandemic ends. Some of them can be utilized in the classroom in many different ways. So these resources that were created when the pandemic started in February and March added to our Amplify program only makes the program that much better. The first thing I want to share with you of the four things is called at-home units. So at-home units are taking our units and streamlining them into a packet-based delivery system, which is great for synchronous learning, also in-class time, but also asynchronous. They're taking our units and streamlining them into a way that's easily deliverable in a remote situation at home. Students can be uh, pick up packets or they can be delivered to students at home. Um, there's student-facing slideshows. We have PowerPoint and Google Slides for teachers. We now have student versions. And also we have made some modifications to our assessments for those resources. In addition, one of my favorite things are these at-home videos. These are lessons taught by Amplify Science teachers. Most of them come from Denver Public Schools where they've used our program for a couple of years now. They record themselves doing the remote lesson. It makes a great playlist that you can then utilize as a way to flip your classroom. You can send that link directly home to students. You could watch the, as a model for lesson delivery. It's great for kids who are absent because it is a playlist. You can decide which parts of that lesson you want the guest teacher to come in because it's chunked. So maybe you just want the guest teacher to come in, play that video while you're taking attendance and getting set up. You're able to do that. So at home videos, a great resource that I think will extend even beyond the pandemic. Additionally, we have hands-on investigation videos. Amplify Science comes with a kit full of resources for kids to do manipulations and gather evidence using firsthand, you know, that, that, that fun kinesthetic way of learning. But obviously during a pandemic, that's a little tricky, but we have videos now of students performing those investigations and the, the students who are watching can then apply their critical thinking because I'll tell you what, the students in the videos, they do not explain the outcomes. That is left up for the viewer. Once again, you can see this is a great way to flip your classroom as well. In the future, it could be used to just mop so students can see these other students and model how this, this activity can go and how they might do it differently. So it really is a great resource that's in our platform now. Also, we have read aloud videos of the text. So let's say, for instance, all of our texts are digitized but maybe a student's device breaks. Well, we have read alouds of teachers reading the text, flipping through our digital book, live recorded by real teachers. So you can see this playlist is getting lots of views. It's a great way for students to access this because it's on YouTube. So let's say their device breaks, but there might be a smartphone in their household that they can pull this up and still engage in the content that's coming from the text in the program. So where do we find these resources? Make sure you reach out to us and get a demo account if you don't have one. I'm gonna go into my demo account to show you where to locate this program hub. Well, you'll, receive, you'll see the link for the remote and hybrid learning resources stacked next to our professional learning resources and additional unit materials for you to explore. So with that, I'm now gonna jump over and here I am, Hi, I'm Tom. Um, I'm gonna now jump over into our platform. So as you're exploring in, in your demo account, I'm gonna give you a quick navigation tool here. Right next to the grade level is a little chevron that then allows you to jump between grade levels if you want. Click on it again, that little chevron disappears. In the upper left, this little thing up here, I like to call it my um, navigation hamburger. It's a navigation tool. Um, I'm sure the developers would call it something else, but I call it a little hamburgers, three stacks. You're gonna open that up. Now I have a lot of other programs loaded to have our ELA or math program, uh, things like that, but you're gonna scroll. So I'm gonna go all the way up. So you're gonna scroll past anything you see. You're just gonna see science. Um, you're gonna scroll past any apps, which are Sims, which you can play with those, but I'll be doing a spotlight on those a little bit uh, in the future. But we're gonna scroll all the way down to additional resources. And you're gonna look for this gray program hub. You, won't, you probably won't see all these other things in your account, but you will see the program hub. I'm going to click on that program hub and boom, welcome science educators. So you're going to see your remote and hybrid learning resources populate right here. If you want a tour, you can also click this here and it'll guide you through this process, but I'm going to do that now. So let's go into our remote and hybrid learning resources. 
Now it's organized by grade level. So TK, which is our transitional kindergarten or pre-K program, you can select your grade level. So let's say, you know what? I wanna look at grade three. So I can go to grade three. Now you're going to see all of our units that are in that grade level. Here's an orientation and tutorial about how to use these resources. That's something I'll let you watch on your own. But I'm gonna pick a unit here, balancing forces, for instance. I click into that. And those here are my four resources that I pointed out. My at-home unit, my at-home videos, my hands-on investigation videos, and my books read alouds. So I have my at-home unit in English. I can also convert that into Spanish. And so the at-home unit, keep in mind, this was the packet delivery system that's uh, in print that is really for, designed for students who are at home without devices. And so we can see the resources for the teacher, the family, and for the student, the compilations, and then it's broken down for resources for every lesson. We have Google Slides and PDFs and Google fillable sheets, as well as the full packet in Google format, as well as in PDFs. So you can explore those options. Now let's say, let's look at the at-home videos. So here I can see the lessons are broken down starting with lesson 1.1, BF means balancing forces, 1.2, et cetera. I'm gonna click on 1.2. It's going to open a new tab, that YouTube playlist, and here's my playlist of that guest teacher. And you can see there's thousands of views already. You know, I can click on that and I can start listening to her teach this lesson. Let me make sure my volume is up. Because I'm recording, you're not hearing her voice, but she's going to teach this first part of this lesson. These different activities are broken down in that playlist. So you can go into each lesson and see how that is taught. Now I'm gonna to go to my hands-on investigations videos. That's the next tab over. And so here you have the playlist, once again, that'll populate out of YouTube. So I click on at home's playlist. And then here's all those videos of the students doing those hands-on investigations, manipulating magnets and blocks and other forces at play in this particular unit where students are studying how a floating train works. As civil engineers, it's a really cool unit about magnetic levitation trains where they take on this role of an engineer trying to make sure that the citizens of the town feel comfortable riding this cool new modern train. So here's my video so students can watch these get ideas of how the manipulation manipulation would have worked and then make their evidence and reasoning based upon that. So that's my hands on investigation videos. The last tab I want to share is our read aloud videos. So these are for the text in the program. Um, I can also click here to access the digital book. So here is the link and you can even go in and look using our generic passwords here, you have access to get in and see the flip book, the digital version. But maybe once again, my students don't have a device, but I do have a playlist that I can send to a smartphone where a teacher will read the actual book. They'll flip through it using screencast as a recording, and they're going to be reading the text in a regular tone as a regular classroom teacher. Um, and you know, in the flip book that they would have digitally, they have a read aloud feature built in, but a teacher here is going to read that for you. So I'm gonna go back over here. So basically we're supporting you no matter which learning situation you're in with our at-home units, which are those print-based solutions that you can make packets deliver to the students. We have the at-home videos, which are guest teachers coming into your classroom, hands-on investigation videos, because a big part of our program is hands-on. We have great kids that support that, but in a remote situation, it makes it a little more challenging. So we made videos of all those investigations. And then you have the read alouds, which also is another modification. Um, our, our digital text does read aloud to students with this, the press of a button, but a YouTube playlist means we have access for more of our learners. So thanks for joining me for the Spotlight series, our first one here on remote learning. We have more coming every week, and uh, I hope you explore Amplify Science for Oklahoma. Bye-bye.